video is about the goalie men, the cowards of that organization with their rust bucket garbage gals, sea shepherd. And currently they are trying to bother the good people in the Faroe Islands. You see, when they first arrived in the Faroe Islands, they got a Viking welcome. But not the Viking welcome that they so desired. Here's the Viking welcome that they wanted. They wanted a verbal or physical altercation with the people of the Faroe Islands. And the reason for that is, they were denied dramatic video by the Japanese in the last whaling season when the Japanese cut the whaling season off by one month. So now they needed this dramatic video for a couple of reasons. Well, because the suckers around the world want to see that on um, uh, whale wars. In addition, Animal Planet announced another reality show titled Whale Wars Feral Islands. So by golly, we're going to have to go to the Faroe Islands and incite the Viking in those people to violence, either physically or verbally. So, so, so says I, they're thinking. So they go there now with that vessel, the Bridge of Bardot, and they dock. And they hope to get that Viking's welcome. And they did get a Viking's welcome, but not the kind that they anticipated. The good people of the Faroe Islands, the descendants of the Vikings, they met the Bridget Bardot and its crew at the dock, set up tables with free food, offering to feed them. That's what they did, kids. They offered them free food. But what did the girly men do? They turned down a majority of the food. Gee, I wonder why. Let's look. See? because <laughs> some of that food was whale meat. Now, being the good people of the fellow Islands, they didn't just offer them whale meat. They gave them a choice, whale meat, fruits, and vegetables. And the girly men ate the fruit and the vegetables while declining the whale meat. Once again, good Viking hospitality, but not the kind that they were looking for. So Admiral Beauregard Watson, their Captain Kangaroo, he now gets his vessel released from Scotland, this is Steve Irwin. And the good people of the Faroe Islands gave him a new name. Yeah, they now call him the Paulus. <laughs> That's right, the Paulus. So since he has this new name, it's, it's incumbent upon us to update the Sea Shepherd flag to this. See, we're only doing that to honor the Paulus. Captain Kangaroo, out of book of God Watson. <laughs> but listen, folks, especially to you parents of these trust fund babies who pay $1,000 to serve on those rust buckets, allowing your children to go, you are putting them in harm's way because the poorest does not care about their safety. On Friday, he sent divers into the strong currents in the Faroe Islands to where they had to be retrieved twice with heavy ropes because they were exhausted from trying to fight the current. He does not care about them. Had God forbid anything happened to them, he would have had his dramatic video to exploit. Once a year in the Faroe Islands, they hold a regatta, of small vessels in some sort of a race, in honor of an event or a person. Well, now the regatta is taken off to the starting point, oh, about a hundred of these little vessels. And on the Bridget Bardot is our good friend, Cabin Boy. What's his name? Peter Helmethead. I think he's first made a first, ca uh, first something or another on that vessel. He's not the captain. And here's why he hasn't been promoted to captain. He sees all those vessels and says, Golly gee walkers, they're chasing whales. We need to go chase them. So they take the Bridget Bardot in the middle of all these, <laughs> in the middle of all these vessels, thinking they're interrupting uh, a whale hunt. Even the helicopter was above, probably videotaping it. So with this video, probably from the helicopter and the Bridget Bardot, I wonder if we're going to see that on Whale Wars, Faroe Islands, claiming, see, we're chasing them because they're chasing the whales. When there was no whales in actuality. But the truth has never deterred the girly men before. Why should it now? So now, <clears throat> this is the portion of the video where I will title, There's No Room at the Inn. 
the pole is there, Captain Kangaroo, and the Boulevard Watson, he reserved a conference room at a hotel in their capital city. And in this conference room, he intended to have a talk with the people of the Faroe Islands and tell them why you're wrong for harvesting whales. And I'm going to tell you why. Well, being open-minded as the people are, no problem. Yeah, you can have the conference room. But you see, this is what the Paulists did before the event. It is reported that he made a statement saying that the mass murderer in Norway, the bum who murdered all those children and blew up those government buildings, that that person got his inspiration from the people of the Faroe Islands. That's what he did. He equated the people with the Faroe Islands to that mass murderer. He be not knowing, or maybe he did know, that there's a strong attachment in the Faroe Islands to Norway. You see, many of us would say that he's stupid for doing that because he got the rooms canceled. In addition, no other hotel agreed to rent him any space after that, nor would any restaurant. So he has no place to hold this conference. You see, he made that statement knowing he was going to infuriate the people of the Faroe Islands, but he did not think he would lose his reservation. He wanted to infuriate them so he could get that dramatic video footage with either a physical or verbal altercation. But the smart people of the Faroe Islands denied him the room, denied him the video. So now, what do they do? They spend the night in a town in, west, in the western part of the Faroe Islands. The next morning they wake up wearing their t-shirts, showing off Sea Shepherd, once again looking for that video. And I wonder if he showed him this t-shirt. <laughs> I doubt it. But the people of the Faroe Islands, they're not, once again, they're not giving the video they were looking for. Now, you know, Admiral Bureau God Watson, Captain Kangaroo, the Paulist, goes into the Southern Ocean to interfere with the Japanese whale hunt, saying, We're enforcing the law. No one else is, so we're enforcing the law because the Japanese are breaking the law. So they were signing themselves the status of law enforcement. Huh. Let's see. Friday night, they turned their, uh, what's called, advanced identification system, the, uh, what we call a GPS, they turned it off on the Steve Irwin, so they could not be tracked. But wait a minute. According to international law, that's illegal for a vessel of that size to turn off the AIS, better known as the uh, GPS. So the good captain can break the law. No problem. But you better not. Because he'll be on your tail with those video cameras if you break the law. Yeah, hypocrite. It is reported that the two oil companies in the Faroe Islands are refusing to sell the girly men petroleum unless they use it to head for home. Good. Once again, the people are sticking together in the Faroe Islands by shunning these people. Let me tell you something. In the past couple of days, I think I received a message in one way or the other either through Facebook, email, or YouTube, from every person in the Faroe Islands. And I want to thank you so much for that. You provided me with volumes of information, links, and photographs. I certainly appreciate that so much. God bless all your eye, right, folks. To the people of the Faroe Islands, stand strong. Do not let them entice you further because they're continuing, as I'm making this video, they're still continuing in those efforts. All right, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the Faroe Islands. <laughs> and God bless the nation you happen to be in. And hopefully I'll be in the Faroe Islands one day. We'll see you.